Mortal Kombat 2021. Is it good? Is it bad? I'm going to tell you right now. Welcome to my channel, though. Uh, I appreciate you being here. Hit that like button. Smack that dislike button. There's actually, you know, down down there, there's a whole area for you guys to just have fun with. There's a bunch of buttons. You can press like. You can press dislike. You can press subscribe. You can press that bell. That's a fun little bell. It makes a little sound. Actually, I don't even know if it makes a sound because I've never hit it myself for any channel I've ever watched. I'm sorry. I'm cutting that out. I'm cutting it out. But I watched... Mortal Kombat and I don't know if you guys already know I'm a fan of the Mortal Kombat world I'm not super deep into the lore though so there's probably some issues with this lore wise people are gonna have issues with if you if you know that kind of stuff I don't I'm just a, a overall fan I don't I haven't gotten super deep into the lore so I may miss that kind of stuff so don't hold that against me damn it but anyway so the movie itself was it good was it bad I thought it was okay there we go. Thank you. Bye. Hey, subscribe. So let's break it down. Story. The story is pretty simple. It's mainly about Cole, his connection to Scorpion, the mark, and what those marks mean for the different fighters, champions. It gets us from point A to point B, fight to fight. That's pretty much it. It's not super complicated, and I think it should stay that way. We're getting ready for a tournament. That we don't actually ever see in this one, but we will in the next one. Keep it simple, keep it straight. That's all I'm that's all I want. Okay, that's all I want. If you were coming to Mortal Kombat for anything other than this, what are you what are you expecting? Titanic? What come on. I mean, the the structure of the film isn't really what you go to watch Mortal Kombat for. And if you went in and were disappointed with the story, I don't know what you were expecting. It's Mortal Kombat. It's got fights. The fights are well done. The CGI is well done. It's the acting is fine. So basic, fine enough story to kind of hodgepodge these fights together. I could have done with less Cole. Actually, I fucking could have done with no Cole. Take Cole completely out, replace him with the character I care about, or just don't. Just like have the point of view from Jax and Sonya. Have them find trying to find fighters. Like I'd rather see that than Cole's story. Like I don't give a fuck about that guy at all. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't care about him. The actor was. Eh, he's okay characters you've got your good guys you got your bad guys let's talk good guys first the guy that plays scorpion what is the guy's name what's the guy's name whip it out what's his name or combat you know i'm not even gonna try to say his name but he's a good actor he's a he's a very good actor he plays samurais a lot but he was good i wish there was more scorpion that's one of my biggest problems with the movie is that there's not enough Scorpion. You have the best actor play Scorpion, the best actor in the entire film. I'm just going to come out and say it. He is the best actor in the entire film, acting-wise, dramatically, and you use him the the least. Like, in MK2, you got to up that shit. I want to see more Scorpion. You got to put more of him in there. Like, he's a great actor. I'm going to continue. The lead character, I guess, of the, of the movie cole young and he's doing some mma sparring around uh, rubbing rubbing butts with some guy in a ring you, you meet some side characters that don't really matter you got his wife his his uh <laughs> i guess they do matter <laughs> i don't know basically cole young doesn't matter you could take him out of the film and it just really wouldn't it wouldn't change that much so i don't know why they had to the felt the need to like make up a character cole young they spent too much time on that and not enough time on actual scorpion after you meet cole you meet jacks you meet Sonya. They both do fairly good jobs. They're not stellar in their character work, but they, they're passable. They do what they need to do. And after you meet them, enter Kano, the best character in the movie. I'm telling you, Kano is the best character in the movie. And they actually give him a lot of lines. I got set back. I was like, damn, you could say that in 2021 without getting canceled? Better take that stupid fucking sombrero you wear and shove it so far up your ass you start speaking Spanish. How does that sound? I guess he's a villain, which is, you know, how you can do it. But most of the time these days, they don't let villains even say villainous things. We meet Liu Kang, we meet Raiden, we meet Kung Lao. And Liu Kang, I'm sorry, but that actor was strange. I don't know what he was doing with his character, but he was very, it was a very odd portrayal. I don't know what was going on. Liu Kang was always my favorite. I don't know. It just wasn't my favorite character in this movie. He was weird. He acted kind of like he was on drugs or something. Like, Liu Kang, you okay? You, you, doing some, you doing some drugs in the back? Like, you're not telling nobody? Like, what's going on? 
in this kung lao is his adopted cousin Liu king was a an orphan that was adopted by kung lao's family and they say like whenever kung lao shows up he says hey cousin and then later Liu king refers to him as a brother he's not actually a brother he's an orphan adopted it's very confusing and i don't know what they were doing with that i don't know why they didn't just keep kung lao being ancestor and like showing up from the past and being like maybe an old champion that that lost that was able to come back to life or something you didn't need to do that i don't know why you did that but whatever he was actually good kung lao was pretty cool his costume was accurate it looked good he did all the poses that you that you want kung lao to do it made all the moves so cut to out world sub Zero's walking across that the bridge you know that bridge where you uppercut people and they go down and they fall into the spikes anyway she's walking up there he's talking to shang sung and shang sung is i don't know they should have just got the, the guy from the first movie because i mean he still is a great actor and shang sung is like old and young they shouldn't have got this guy i don't like the guy that they got to play shang sung he's not menacing he's kind of funny his, his voice is like kind of humorous come on guys you know who the real shang sung is it's not this guy it's this guy shang sung has got his his posse of bad guys he's got sub-zero He's got some guy with the hammer that I don't know. Is he from like Mortal Kombat 9 or 10 or something? Editor's note, what? I just looked it up. And it's supposed to be this guy. I know, I've seen this guy. This big old guy with the hammer, he looks, no he looks nothing like this character. What? What is this? This is so far off. All right, sorry. Back to the video. Jeez. Or maybe 11. I don't know who this guy is, but he looks stupid as hell. I didn't like him. He was dumb. Also, there's this chick with wings that where she just lit literally just looks like a chick with wings. I don't know who she is or anything about her. She just has bat wings. Cabal. He's a low life piece of shit scumbag. You're gonna love him. I would say he's my second most entertaining character in the movie. He's got some pretty good lines as well. Like the bad guys get all the good lines. Like they're the ones I root for. <laughs> now let's talk about the fights. The fight scenes pretty well done. I gotta say that the martial arts pretty good. For the fight scenes, I'd like to see less cuts. There's still, it's still got that modern day action kind of like too many cuts. I've been spoiled by people like Jackie Chan just doing one cuts where it's just like all the action happens. And so I need y'all to get on that level. The gore factor are actually realistic in the way that it's done. It makes sense. They made it make sense in a world that is like real. It's not over gore. It's like just the right amount of gore. And it's whenever people get melted with, with fire, they don't melt and like go into dust and blow away. They actually burn like a person would. And then like they're burned. They're not just, they look like Anakin Skywalker or something. They, they don't look like they're getting, you know, snapped away by Thanos. It's not cartoony. It's actually grounded the way they did the gore. So that, that's a good factor. Another thing that they sprinkle through the movie, just like the lines from the game, they sprinkle the mo actual moves that the characters do. They actually put the fatalities in. They put the moves in from each character. Kano does his fatality push, takes the heart out. Sub-Zero pulls Jax's arms off after freezing them. Like, those are actual fatalities, and they actually put it in there. Later on, Kung Lao, he throws his hat down, and it's spinning, and then he pulls the other person through it, and it splits him in half. I win. Every time. It's cool that they put that stuff in there. They took the time to put those things in. That's the thing about the movie is like all a lot of the fights happen like simultaneously. So it's kind of hard to follow. It's not like the original movie where it was this fight, then that fight, then that fight, then that fight. It's like these all these fights kind of happen at the same time, which I understand because there's a lot of characters. There's a lot of fights and there's not a lot of time. So you got to overlap them. So they all kind of happen at the same time. Very, very quick. Jack's fight with that big fat guy with the hammer again. Who cares about that guy? But he does his move where he smashes his head and freaking like a watermelon blows it up. Sonya Blade takes down Kano in the freaking bitchest way. This pissed me off, man. They're like fighting. Kano's clearly going to win. And she he's like, how does this feel, baby? And he's like choking her out. And then she takes a garden gnome and stabs him in the eye. She doesn't even fatality him. She stabs him in the eye. Why are you going to do my boy like that? Don't do my boy like that. Come on, give him a good death. What the fuck is this? This shit sucks. Whatever. Sony Blade, get the fuck out of here. I want Kano back. I want Kano back. This is where the whole movie crashes. You pretty much saw most of the fight in the trailers, which kind of sucks. There was not anything extra in the trailers that you didn't already see, like the part where he slashes up the blood, freezes it, and comes down. All that kind of stuff. Choreography was pretty cool. The CGI in this movie was actually really well done. Like all of the ice stuff, 
the gore, arms getting ripped off. All that stuff was actually really, really good. The entire movie felt kind of like a lower budget action movie, which is actually great. Like, please, more lower budget action movies and stop doing these huge, massive millions and millions and millions of dollar movies. Lower budget, little, little lower budget. That's why I'm like pulling my expectations down. That's why I thought it was a lot, it was better than what I expected because I wasn't expecting freaking the world, okay? CGI was done really well. Commend those guys for that. Choreography was done really well. It's really good from Kano, one of the best character actors. I love that guy. I want to see more of that guy and more stuff. Scorpion, obviously, like I said before, Scorpion, great actor, underutilized. I need to see more of that. The rest of the actors were, they were decent. They did their part. That's all I asked for. I need to see some people kicking some people, and I saw it. That's what I got. Let's wrap it up. If you want to watch an action movie, this is the movie. Like, when was the last time you got a good fight action movie? Fucking never. If I was to rate this movie and say, I don't know, a time whenever there's a lot of great movies coming out, there's a, there's a lot of movies to choose from, I would give it a five. Five out of ten. Five out of ten. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about movies in 2021. After the year of 2020. After just the desert. The desert of movie choices. In light of that, I'm going to add a plus one to that. And on top of that, no woke messaging. Not even. Club. Mogwai. Not even close. There's no intersectional feminism. There's no plight of the black man in America. There's not even any Asian hate crime. Okay? And that, there's a lot of opportunities in Mortal Kombat to be like, oh, Asian hate crime or, you know, being black in America or intersectional feminism. You had Sonya Blade. You had Jax. And you had all of the Asian characters in this movie. They could have they could have done that. I know it was shot a while ago, but it, it they could have put it in there. They didn't. It was just a straight up action movie with fights in it. That's all you want. That's all you ask for. Okay. So in light of that, I'm going to give it another plus one. That's seven. I think seven is a solid number. Go see it. If you got some time, if you're hanging out, you got it an hour and a half, you got two hours, watch it. Not, it's, it's a good, it's a good one. Support movies that are just basic fucking movies. Support movies that aren't trying to fucking pander to some political view or trying to tell you you're not living your life right or whatever. Fuck all that. You want to watch a movie? You want to get some popcorn? Watch Mortal Kombat. It's a good time. It's a good time. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. I'm not saying it's perfect. It's not Citizen Kane of storytelling. It's a good action movie that you can sit down, watch, enjoy, and leave. I'm left with wanting more. I want to have a second one. I'd like to see it. Let me know what you thought of this movie in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this video in the comments below. You can also hit like. You can hit dislike if you want to. Hey, do what you want. Do what you want. It's a free country. Hit all them buttons down there. It's like a whole control board for your fingers, and you can click all the buttons. Click every single one of them. It's a bunch of buttons for you to play with. So get down there and play with them. You guys have a good night. Toasty! <laughs> you fucking beauty.